Hi everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to Cloud Mom. This is a show about nursing positions. I do have another show about side nursing, which I think is a really great thing to do, especially in the middle of the night or when you're completely exhausted, so check that out. But this show is primarily about the two main positions in which you can nurse your baby when you're seated at a chair, the cradle hold and the football hold. Now, the one that I've done the most is the traditional cradle hold. And I have a pillow here because when your baby is quite small, especially during the early weeks, it's going to be helpful to you in all likelihood to have a pillow or to have a boppy, which is a really popular thing, because that will basically allow you to get the baby closer to you so that you won't be leaning down towards the baby, which is really not what you want to do. It's not good for your back. So here I have my baby. She's almost in the cradle hold. Da -da -da. You can call her Emma. You can call her Jack. Her gender is a little bit fuzzy. And I'm holding her like this. As you can see, I've got my arm under my baby and my hand is holding her head and supporting the back of her neck. That's very, very important. So she's lying like this. I'm holding her like this. And the key thing with all of these positions, whether it be cradle hold, football hold, or side hold, is that you want the baby's entire body to be facing you, not just the head. So in this very crude example, and I'm sorry to manipulate this cute little doll, but you don't want this. You don't want the baby to be facing upwards and straining her neck and reaching over towards you. Instead, you want to lift the entire baby like this. It's almost like a tilting action. You want to lift your entire baby like this towards you, bringing her to you. So as you can see again, I'm cradling her like this. She's facing the left side and I'm going to take my, my hand here, my left hand. It's going to go under her bottom. She's resting comfortably in the nook of my arm. I've got my other hand here in case I need a little bit of extra support, and I'm just gonna gently tilt my baby towards me, okay? So that's the basics when it comes to the way your baby should be positioned. The baby should be coming to you. Her whole body should be facing you. It's a very nice thing for a newborn to be nice and warm against her mother's body, okay? And she shouldn't just be tilting her head I have another show on latching on, so watch that when it comes to latching on your baby. Now, just to think a little bit about your body, I think this is actually a really important thing when it comes to nursing. I've had so many issues with back problems, upper back problems, shoulder problems, all of these things, lower back problems through pushing the stroller. I've really struggled with all of this stuff, and I've really thought a lot about it, and I think that you really have to think about the position of your own body when you're nursing. And for me, the key thing is to have a supported back. A good chair is really, really important and to have your back remain straight, but you also want those muscles to be relaxed. So you're sitting up straight, but the muscles are relaxed. Don't tense up like this. It's really gonna cause a lot of back problems. And certainly, as I said previously, don't hunch over your baby like this with a tense back, because that's gonna be really, really bad. So again, fundamentals of the cradle hold. Here she is, I'm supporting her. If I'm feeding on my left side, she's being supported by my left arm. She's cradled there, right in there. She's facing me, she's tilting over. I've got my hand on her little butt and her head and neck are supported. I can use my other hand if I want a little bit of extra support. Okay, I'm going to go over to the other side and demo the football hold, something I've always been intrigued by. I've only done it myself a couple of times. Now, the football hold also is one in which you're going to likely want to have another pillow underneath. And this is a hold that's frequently favored by moms who've had a C-section because it's a nice way to make sure that the baby is not hitting your belly and hurting you when you're sore from having had a C-section. So with the football hold, you're gonna have this pillow underneath. It's nice to have a chair with arm rests like this so that you can comfortably rest your arm. You're gonna be holding and supporting your baby underneath. You're gonna be, again, supporting your baby's neck and head with your hand, okay? And you're gonna gently bring your baby up to your breast in this way. I think this is really a great thing to think about doing, alternating, so that you're not constantly in the same position I think with this hold, you're not putting as much pressure on the top left of your back as you might be if you're doing the cradle hold on the left side. So you might want to do cradle hold on the left side, football hold on the right, and alternate this just the way you do when you're alternating what side you feed on in the early days when you're sort of getting the hang of breastfeeding. So again, here I am with my football hold, a couple fundamentals. I've got my pillow. I'm supporting my baby with my right arm this time because I'm on the right side. Okay, I'm supporting her head and neck with my hand, and I'm gently just bringing her to me. I'm not hunching down over the baby. I'm bringing her up to me. Okay, so those are the fundamentals of the cradle hold and the football hold. I hope that these videos will help you out a little bit as you get the hang of nursing your baby.